and worried by the quality of education in Nigeria and lack of standard data on profiles of teachers. The United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, in collaboration with the Nigerian government, has launched the Teacher Management Information System. According to the Chief of Education of UNICEF, the application, which will be used in eight states in the country and will help track the movement of teachers across states and deploy them to where they are mostly needed, our correspondent Emeka Makofa is in this report from Abuja. Improving learning outcomes for children by equipping educators with the proper teaching and learning tools is the focus of this gathering. To this end, the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, in collaboration with the Federal Ministry of Education, has developed a teacher management information system to strengthen the recruitment, deployment and management of the performance of teachers in Nigeria. Utilizing this platform will help us greatly in improving the quality of the teachers we have, improving the delivery in the classroom and uh, managing the need in our schools and invariably learning outcomes, improving learning outcomes in Nigeria. So it is on us beyond the eight states, on all of us to run with this opportunity that UNICEF has given to us. In his presentation, which captures an overview of the teacher management information system, the UNICEF education manager, Jutaro Sakamoto, says Nigeria needs to employ and retain more qualified teachers to improve learning outcomes in the country. In Nigeria, about 30% teachers in pre-primary and primary education and 40% of junior secondary school teachers are, are unqualified. And if we look at the part pupil qualified teacher ratio in the graph on the right, you see the ratio increased, for example, 47 in the primary school, which is uh, quite high. What we see across uh, the country is very varying levels of pupil teacher ratios. So in some schools, it's one teacher to 10 learners. In other states, it's one teacher to 262 learners. This is a significant problem because very little learning can take place when you have such a large class size. So this is telling us that we have a pro problem with the deployment of teachers to get the right teacher in the right classroom at the right time. Other stakeholders believe parts of the benefits of the teacher management information system is that it helps in the management of instructional time in the classroom. Now staff are not attending schools. Staff are not even doing what they're supposed to do. But if they know there is uh, this kind of system in place, that somewhere someone is uh, uh, checking them, even without coming down to the school, they will be able to address a lot of uh, issues. Sometimes again you find that there are names that are duplicates and the tendency is that for that person to be able to remove that name thinking that because he's using Excel so the name will come up so you'll be thinking that he's repeating the same thing because of pressure, because of uh, tiredness and things like that. So but with this team it's going to eliminate everything. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development sets an ambitious target to provide inclusive and quality education for all. However, lack of national and subnational continuous professional development plan for teachers impedes efforts towards the achievement of quality education for all children. <laughs>